Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in the last episode! We took down Gonzap here at the Snagum Hideout with Voltaire, who zapped that Skarmory of his down in one hit. I guess he's both gone and zapped now! Haha, <laughs> I killed myself. Anyway, in this episode, we have been informed... Well, last time was when we were really informed. We have been informed that the Cypher Key Lair to the north should have something for us now, and we need to go there. But before we do... There are a few things I would like to talk about. First off, I want to go to Agate Village. And while this isn't important to me, I feel like it might be important to you, so it's only fair that I mention it. If you have completed the Snagum Hideout, and you go to see the teacher lady, she has one new move to teach. Sky Attack. This is probably one of my favorite single player moves. It's absolutely useless in multiplayer. Uh, it's a kind of sort of a variation of fly. Basically, you charge up for one turn and then attack. Uh, I guess more of a variation than Razor Wind, though, because you don't get the invulnerability for one turn. But it is a flying type move. 140 power, 90 Argus, as you can see. But has a high critical hit ratio and has a chance of flinching. This move is powerful. If you can somehow strategize a way to get this move off in a battle with a flying type Pokemon, good god, you will wreck stuff. It is a really, really fun move to use. Cool looking, too, but like I said, absolutely useless in multiplayer. Don't ever use this move in competitive or anything like that, though. But, you know, if it's just single player, that's not really so bad. You know, you can have a little bit of fun with it. And unfortunately, it looks like the other thing that I want to talk about is not going to happen. I was hoping that I would get a Pokespot thing going off while I was walking around, but it doesn't seem like that is going to be the case. So still no sign of Bond's lie, unfortunately. All right, well... That's just fine. We're not wasting as much time. We can head up to the Cypher Key Lair. Shadow Pokemon Links may exist. No, this is Cypher. Shadow Pokemon Links will exist. Don't even give him the benefit of the doubt. And uh, I can never get enough of this place. Just that view. Just how this area looks. How the music is. The overall atmosphere of it. Uh, nothing could break that. Well, except maybe this lunk. Quit scurrying around. You're getting on my nerves. Don't think you're hot stuff just because you beat me once by fluke. And what's, a, and what's with the showing off a weird machine in your arm? You're begging for a thumping and I'll deliver it this time. I'll bash, thrash, and crash you just like you want. We are battling Zook yet again. Third time we have seen this clown. I can't really think of anything else to say about him. I do like how he uses the sailor bottle even though he doesn't have the tattoos on his arm. I think Zook would be full of tattoos just all over him though. Anyway. As for his team, there is a laughable amount of information about a lot of minor bosses' teams and Ore on the internet. I could not find complete data for this guy's movesets or anything like that, but he has a Shadow Pokemon. We have seen the Zangoose twice already, and this is the first time that we have our Snag Machine and have encountered it at the same time. Very, very convenient. They have been hyping the Zangoose up for, what, 20 hours of gameplay at this point? And you know what? I want to catch it for the team. Zangoose is a physical sweeper of, nor of the normal type. While normal might not be the best type for a physical sweeper, its stats are really not that bad for attacking. It's got a decent amount of HP like most normal types do. And you really can't argue against its starting moveset. It comes with Crush Claw, having it a few levels early. Brick Break is an excellent move to teach it via TM normally, and it comes with it once purified. And... I don't know, I just really, really like Zangoose. Even though it doesn't really have the best same type attack bonus stat for being a physical sweeper, it makes up for it in the diversity of moves that it's able to learn. So, call me a fan. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. I know that there are some of you that know a lot about Pokemon, and you are going to say that it is a bad move for me to have Zangoose as the next member of my team. And I know why you're saying that, because that makes half of my team weak to the fighting type. However, I have a bit of a rebuttal for this, and I'd ask for you to hear me out on this. When I was thinking of doing XD at first, I thought of Pokemon that I could use that are in the Ore region. I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, and I kept coming up with a lot of my Pokemon that I wanted to use being weak to the fighting type no matter what I tried. So I decided to do a little bit of an experiment. I took every Pokemon that is obtainable in XD and figured out how much of them are weak to the fighting type. It was insane! It was like a quarter of the obtainable Pokémon in Ore are weak to the fighting type. Not only that, but I also discovered that there are very few fighting types you ever go up against. In fact, to kind of drive my point home, I'm thinking that for the rest of our adventure, I will track how many fighting types we come across, because if I'm not mistaken, 
only one boss that we have yet to fight has even one fighting type on their team. It's really, really strange, but being weak to fighting is kind of a, an irrelevant weakness when it comes to this game. And I don't really know why that is, it just sort of is. Anyway, um, hmm, I don't want to go about this. I think Mustache is going to go down this turn. We'll go for a Protect here. I'll try to use Water Pulse to finish off Relicanth. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Using Shadow Rush. Should have known. Yeah, I took out Mustache. I really should have attacked. Okay. I just thought maybe I could get an attack off. We'll go, uh, we'll go Voltaire. Might as well paralyze that Zangoose if I want to catch it. And that's really all I can say about that. Okay. Oh, no, not Rock Tomb. Please not in Voltaire. Please not in Voltaire. Please no. Damn it. Okay, I might actually be slower than something. Who would have thought? Voltaire actually being slower than something we came across. <laughs> uh... I don't want to have Billy Bob attack that Zangoose. It's under leveled compared to where I am right now. And I could really, really see it knocking it out even with takedown. Because Zangoose has kind of not so great defense. I will concede that. So let's see here. Uh, okay. Also, I didn't mention it back in the bio, though. You would have seen it, though. Um, this Zangoose has Silk Scarf on it. So if you want that item, it is worth catching, even if you don't plan on using it in your team, of course. Uh, wow, actually. Good thing I did that. Okay. Going for the timer ball, because it's white with red streaks on it. Can't think of a better ball to house Zangoose in. One, two, three, mine. Haha! <laughs> Take that, Zook! Rawr! What'll I do? What'll I do? Gorgon's gonna chew me out again! He only had 620 Pokemon dollars on him, that's kind of funny. Ugh, Punk thumped me and Gorgon will be furious with me again. I should go away. Somewhere far away where Cypher won't have any influence. So long, Punk had enough of battling you to last a lifetime. Walks off all slowly. Even though he is scared of Gorgon chewing him out or being threatened with violence, he just walks off. Brilliant move. And we're back. Got Zangus out of the PC. I gave him the experience share. And Billy Bob now has the Silk Scarf, as it has Ball Takedown. I think that could be kind of helpful. All right. At long last, it's time to enter the Cypher Key Lair. The polluted water below, the glass pyramid above. Ah, oh, it's all so cool. But these guys look really, really awkward in the middle of all of it. Seriously? Hey, 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 this is no place for a kid like you. No, no, we can't let, can't let you in. No, you run along now. I don't have big muscles of my own. Whatever will I do? You guys have, like, the greatest muscles ever. Well, second greatest muscles I've ever seen. But what will I ever do? Remember when I said you guys had the second greatest muscles I've ever seen? Well, these are the first! Step aside! That kid's special. He's not anyone you, you lot can beat. If you want to know what's best, let him through without a fuss. What? Don't make me laugh. Hey, kid. You let us handle things here. It wouldn't pay to make a racket. All it'd do is alert the guys inside the building. Hey, walk it. Yo. Hey, you guys are from Team Snagum. What do you think you're doing here? Gloom, hit him with sleep powder. That just solves every problem in the whole dang world. Walken, like I said, I am a fan of your ideas. Good going, Walken. <laughs> Glad to be of service. Now's our chance. Hurry, we can wreck Cypher right now. Fortunately, they don't go in with us, but yes, we got help from the burliest muscles around. Well, how did Gonzeb get that buff in five years? I mean, dude, his pecs are bigger than his head. I mean, one of his pecs is bigger than his head. I don't know, but still, that is crazy. All right, let's not worry about his muscles as tough as that might be to do. Cypher Key Lair. That might, this, my friend, is a factory that outputs Shadow Pokemon. Quite impressive, wouldn't you agree? Whew, send done with a Shadow Pokemon production run. That's the last of the Poke that's the last of the Pokemon we retrieved from the SS Libra. Boy, I'm playing worn down. 
Hyper Potion, three of them. Once again, antagonists not putting away their big items, but still. This is a factory made to mass produce shadow Pokemon that were taken from the SS Libra. Kind of a good plan, if I may say so. What a nasty boy! It's so rude for you to come in and invite. I'll punish you in place of your mother! Don't you talk about my mother, you Ibsel! Or should I say, Imbecile? Okay, that was better. I didn't use the aggravated pun that you guys were saying I should have used the other day. But still, I, I feel like that made up for it. Okay. Anyway, Zangoose's first battle. Wow, it's actually already gone down a little bit from just walking around with us. Not that bad, considering we didn't walk around a whole lot. Okay. So, having a Shadow Pokemon on the team again is definitely helpful here. Let's take out that Plessel. And, uh, Dustox is not a flying type. It's Bug Poison, but I'll go for the Blizzard anyway. Okay. Let's see how this does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, Mustache fell in love. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just sounds funny. Go, Plessel. Uh, here we are. We are back to Pokemon, just barely not one-hitting stuff. Happens when I'm over-leveled and I catch something that's like five levels below the rest of the team, but oh well. Okay. I gotta say, Zangoose, while it is one of my favorite looking Pokemon, I am not a big fan of its model. It just looks kind of cheap compared to the other Gen 3 Pokemon, and I'm not really sure why. Okay. So, all we gotta do is... Wow, it's not even attacking Mustache. Okay. What we gotta do here is... Okay, I add speed. I take out Plessel. That gets rid of the attraction. And that means that I'll get off Blizzard this turn. Whether it hits or not has remained to be seen, but hey, at least it's better. Send out- Oh, Zatu! Okay, I'm a fan of you sending out a flying type into my Blizzard! Uh oh. Is he gonna- Okay, good, Zangoose did not go down. That would have been really bad if Zangoose went down that quickly in its first battle it ever did. Okay, Blizzard! Okay. Not as good as I was hoping, to be honest. Okay. Oh, wow, that camera angle's really off of Dust Talks. It's kind of funny. We'll switch out. Go for Billy Bob. Okay. And then we will throw down... Uh... We'll just use a Water Pulse to take out Zatu. I don't really think that Dust Talks is the greatest threat ever. And whoa, that Timer Ball's animation is weird. <laughs> it's like clocks moving forwards all weird like when you're called the Pokemon back I don't know I, I I do have to say I'm not really the too damaged I'm not really the biggest fan of that animation I just always thought it looked kind of weird though but still I don't think I could have made a better choice than the timer ball well so much for desktops not being a threat guys <laughs> okay take you out man I gotta say I really have to praise this battle background here just like this area is so cool looking like why did they not have much stuff that was in this type of atmosphere again? I, I don't know, I have to ask that. I'm sorry. Just that it bugs me a little bit that we never really got to see another game with this type of atmosphere in the series again. Alright. Um huh. I'll take down on Dust Tox. We'll go for an ice beam. I think that's kind of the best way that I can do this. Tail Glow! Okay! Tail Glow is a really interesting move. At this point in the series, I think Volbeat was the only Pokemon that can learn it, so it is kind of a special thing bringing up. It sharply raises one's own special attack, so surprisingly very good move. Manaphy learns it in later generations, and that makes it really, really good, though, but man, sharply raising your own special attack, I mean, it's basically like a special swords dance. It's a great move. I just wish more stuff learned it, to be honest. Okay, go. Dust... <sighs> Why can I not knock out anything in this fight? You guys are so much lower level. What is the thing that I'm not fully evolved now? Is that what it's gonna be? Uh, okay. We will blow on that freaking. No, I'm not risking the blizzard. I just want that thing to go out down this turn. Oh great, two tail glows. If this gets off an attack, I am done for right here. Okay. At least it's not behind the confusion on Dust Talk, so at least that's good. Uh, Critical hit, woohoo, yeah, okay. See, it, it, they're not even doing that much damage to me. I mean, they were doing a lot to Zangoose, though, but they're not even doing that much damage. It's just that they will not go down, and it's really frustrating. Okay. That is done. Here's our takedown. Hey. You got taken down.
That's all I got, really. I'm sorry. That's all I got, really. <laughs> all right, this battle's done. We are good, and wow, she had a lot of money. Damn. I guess Cypher pays well. Question is, do they have better dental fit benefits than Team Snagum? That remains to be seen. <laughs> so, if you go over this way, there's quite a few things for you. Another item box. Two revives! Again, I don't mean to complain, but jeez! I thought you were supposed to be the bad guys! I don't know. They are very, very strange with that. Oh, yet another battle. That ruckus upstairs. You're the cause? You bet I'm the cause. What of it? Huh? Huh? Kalo? Yeah, well, this ain't Kalo Seum anymore. This is XD. But uh, I I sound so non-threatening when I try talking like that. It, just, it sounds so wrong when I try talking like that. It's it's kind of funny actually, just how bad I am at it. Okay. Um <laughs> Come back, Zangoose, throw Voltaire out. Okay, good. Keep quiet on the shop floor, please. Who are you to give generic intercom responses to things? Once again, no shadow Pokemon, just like last fight, and Voltorb in the Purify Chamber. Okay. What do you have to say? Oh, I am downright bone-weary. We're under orders to take a full shipload of Pokemon and turn them into shadow Pokemon. We'll be done with this job soon. Then, I'm gonna take a good long bath to unwind. Oh, poor you. Your muscles are sore from enslaving Pokemon. Yeah, we need to stop this. And Mirror B may have appeared. That's what's important here. We get TM24 from going down here. What does that get us? Thunderbolts! I... Uh, I gotta think about this if I want to teach this or not. Jolteon does not learn Thunderbolt leveling up in Generation 3, so I think it should be used in... Ooh, Jean's got an item. Okay. So, goodbye to Shockwave. I am now a powerhouse, quite literally. <laughs> there we go. Learn Thunderbolt. Now, Gene, what no doubt priceless item do you have for us today? Great ball! Okay, uh, 600 Poké Dollars is hardly priceless, but dang, I'll take it. All right. So we have entered the Cypher Key Lair. We took down Zook. We used the power of Gonzap's awesome muscles to force our way in, even though he didn't use them. Got some nice items. I think we're going to end this off here. Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we'll be heading up into the higher levels of the lair. See you guys then.